should you be a trader or an investor this is a question which is very difficult for uh, many people to answer and i find it very uh, odd that uh, many people think that trading is easier than investing it is quite the contrary let's say you bought some shares of a company because it has got a big order from bangladesh and uh, what you want to have what you you want it to happen that 9 o'clock nobody should know about this you should know about it and by 3:30 everybody should know about it and everybody should clamor to buy that share and that share should go up this is the compulsion for a trader because you don't have money to take delivery you have done a leverage trade and uh, you have to cut your position maybe by 3:10 3:15 3 no broker will wait till 3:30 and uh, you will have to close your position now let us say this share has gone up or you think the share should go up from 100 to 110 you bought it at 100 plus brokerage you will sell it at 110 minus brokerage so you will make maybe 8 9 rupees whatever but what happens is during the day the government of india or the government of bangladesh makes some order saying uh, passes something else so the whole world is no longer paying attention to this great event in your life so nobody is paying attention to this share so this share moves from 100 to 90 or 95 or the whole market is in the gloom end of the day you have to cut your position at 95 now instead of making a 10 rupee profit you are going to make a 5 rupee loss uh why does this happen it happens because you had a leverage position you had no capacity to take uh, delivery and therefore you have lost money now take the same situation you bought the share at 100 rupees you bought only 100 shares you had the capacity to take delivery of 10000 rupees worth of shares you took delivery the price fell to 95 uh, but after 15 days the price went up to 105 or 110 right and then you sold so there is a difference between a leverage trade which you can't take delivery and a trade which you can take delivery that is delivery based trading this is leverage trading in delivery based trading the chances of you making money or losing less is higher than in this leverage trade but even there if you are leverage chances are the return that you get in a month may be much less than the interest payout that you are doing so assuming just for calculation purposes you borrowed money at 12% the cost of this share apart from the brokerage is already 101 for you end of the month end of the second month i'm not taking compounding into effect but it is 102 103 and in the end of the fourth month it is 104 so your cost is already 104 even if you sell it at 105 uh, you're making 1 rupee profit if you deduct the brokerage you're going to end up making nothing now take the same case of you being an investor you got 10000 rupees you don't know where to invest so you put it in an index fund that's fine it's going to make money for you over a long period of time so which is easier i to me trading is far more difficult i don't trade at all my money for trading is with my broker he trades and we have a fantastic relation over 44 years it's been the same broker where i started in 1979 so i completely trust him so he calls me and says i bought this i sold this i bought this i sold this even that i get a statement so that's a fabulous relationship which i have because of which this is happening right uh, not everybody will have the luck of having a broker like this so my uh, take is very simple you better off being a investor than being a trader be careful about what you're doing thank you